welcome back to my channel. This is Christian Jarek Villanueva with a new CBTV video. Yay. But today it's gonna be something very, very special. I've always wanted to do something like this, but I am gonna go ahead and eat like Remy Cruz for a day. So, if you're new here, my name is Christian Jarek Villanueva. I'm gay, single, and I'm the biggest Miss Remy Ashton stan. I'm really trying to be like a Gaijin version of her, but you know, look where that's turning out. <laughs> We're going to be showing you three of the items that we're going to be cooking for for breakfast, for lunch, and also for dinner. And let's go ahead and begin. You guys know I love my coconut chicken tenders, which are so delicious. Which but I'm my new favorite bomb. way to make them is almond chicken tenders. Air frying them now. I'm okay. also making over here some bonza pasta. Oh, I've never, never tried those. It's spaghetti or just like pasta in general that's made from okay. chickpeas. Super, super high in protein. It's delicious. I honestly don't really taste like a huge difference between the two. Seven cloves of garlic. Cal and I are just Garlic stands! Woo! Garlic. We got onion to saute. We got some basil that we're going to chop okay. up. It's a little brown, but that's okay. And then we're going to blister these mixed medley cherry tomatoes and then mix it with the pasta and nice. get a delicious mixture. This is our dinner. Le jopa, le teaspoon, le de canoir, le teaspoon, le teaspoon, le la. Oh my God. This is the first meal that we have for today. It's going to be a chickpea pasta with basil, almond chicken tenders. On to the next one. All right, we got avocado toast on the gluten-free rice bread with cherry tomatoes, two like soft boiled eggs that I totally messed up, but that's okay. Everything but the bagel seasoning, red pepper flakes, a golden kiwi, the matcha latte. So she said um, a whole wheat bread. To be honest with you guys, I will be modifying some of the foods because of the fact that we already, I already have some of this stuff and I don't think I want to spend any extra money on groceries because let's be honest, it's very expensive with everything that I have right now. And two, golden kiwis i've never seen a golden kiwi ever so we're probably not gonna get that we'll probably see if there is any at the store <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead now the final meal which is going to be lunch the lychees got hungry for lunch so i'm ah. having some leftovers i had this for dinner two minutes ago got and it. he was busy so Oof. i made two portions and then put one half in the fridge and nice. now i'm having it for lunch today this is my miso salmon that's so good miso salmon white. This is my new favorite way to cook bok choy is you quarter it. So you like take a whole bok choy, you cut it in half, then <sighs> cut those in half, and then you char them on the stove. Char. And it's so good. I really like eating it like this. It looks like a restaurant. I'm very excited to definitely try it out. But let's go ahead and get started with the video. I'm hungry. <laughs> I just got back from my run. I am feeling good, rejuvenated, and ready to make dinner. And I am very, very excited to definitely make you guys so far the almond chicken tenders that Rem has made. And now we're gonna go ahead and um, show you guys the boiling banza pasta. Banza spaghetti pasta made from chickpeas that she has tried. All right, let's see if it's good. We are now back here with dinner time. It is currently 7.32. It took me about, let's just say about an hour to really make everything for dinner. Um, I have over here with me Remy's selection for our dinner. We have the chickpea pasta along with the basil, onions, garlic, and tomatoes. And I've also added a little twist of my own. This is the almond chicken tenders also with the tomato ketchup with the black summer truffle. I made it like you mentioned, her version of like a chicken parmesan. It's very healthier and I'm excited to try it. Let's go ahead and give this a taste. Mmm, y'all. What I'm telling you, this is a catch. I really think that this tomato ketchup with black summer truffle is gonna be not on the market. I actually bought two bottles. <laughs> now we're gonna go ahead and try our pasta. I think I could have added a little more seasoning, but overall it is beyond delicious. I'll go ahead and see you guys over on for breakfast and I'm just gonna enjoy this meal. This is Christian in the future editing right now. I just wanna let you know we don't have any golden kiwis. I've tried four different supermarkets and there was just no sign of luck, but the rest of the meal is so good. Let's go ahead and proceed with it.
All right, good morning, guys. Um, unfortunately, I didn't do a lot of commentary because of the fact that we're kind of in a rush. Me and Ben and a few of our like close girlfriends that we've quarantined with are actually gonna go headed off to the sunflower farm located in Davis, California. That's why I have this mug. I made myself an oat milk green tea latte, modifying everything, you know? And then we have ourselves just some toast with avocados, cherry tomatoes, the chili onion crunch. She used red chili flakes, but I used the chili onion crunch. The soft boiled egg, which I'm very proud of since I've never ever soft boiled an egg before, as well as the everything but bagel seasoning right over here. I'm telling you guys, this saves so much wonders into everything that I put in my seasoning. If I season it with corned beef, if I season it with eggs, even on my toast, it's literally a delight. There you go. Cheers, guys. Happy Sunday. Mmm. Mmm. It's so light and so healthy. I'm very proud of myself. Ugh. I'm proud of Rampart eating this healthy. It's actually really, really good. It has a good balance of organic. It's just a really colorful rainbow toast, you know? I think we're missing an orange here. Probably a blue. Chasing it down with the matcha latte. Mmm. Yes! Alrighty, Ren. Surprisingly, I was like, eh, cherry tomatoes on my toast. Don't know about it, but it's pretty fire. Now we're gonna see Fred's reaction. Well, first off, I asked Christian how he uh, soft boiled this egg. Mm -hmm. I guess it was a process. <laughs> Which took very hard to do. <laughs> very, very long and hard to do. Mm -hmm. okay, Take a bite, bitch. Mmm. Right? What do you think about Miss Remy's cooking? Dude, the. Tomato actually goes really well with it. Wow. Flags. The flakes are good. It's a good cook. Mm-hmm. It has that game changer mm -hmm. light mood, you know? That oat milk matcha latte just hit some wonders and we'll catch you in a bit. Well, next video. Everyone, welcome back. We are here now for lunchtime. I actually am starting a little late today, only because of the fact that I've just been busy with editing videos and posting content and also catching up with friends and loved ones. It's really important for me to do that. So uh, today we're going to be doing the miso salmon meal, and let's go ahead and begin. A little town in a quiet. I don't know why I'm saying that. So I got this miso over on from Island Pacific. So that's a Filipino supermarket. You can find miso in multiple like Asian groceries or places. I tried looking at it at Target or Trader Joe's. They didn't have it. So yeah, I have to go to a second store for this. I think what I'll be doing is I'll be air frying this instead rather than rather than uh, pan frying it. So. Let's begin. What I would usually do is I would go ahead and add a lot of seasoning. Some lemon pepper. And then I turn it around. Like I mentioned, I'm actually just experimenting this whole thing, so I don't know how it's going to taste. But I'm just gonna go ahead and just smear the salmon along with this. So you guys, I think I made a dumb decision. I think you were supposed to make the miso sauce and then pan fry it with the salmon. Bitch, what? But you know what? It's fine. We're still gonna keep doing at it. It's fine. You know, this is when you experiment things. This is when you make things go to life. It literally looks like a peanut butter salmon. Ooh, I need to do my research of actually miso salmon. I thought it literally just was miso and salmon. We're gonna keep going with it. We're gonna keep going with the flow. Also gonna be adding rice vinegar on top as well. I know Rem will be proud. It. I know like, she'll be like, what the hell is this fool making? <laughs> I don't know. This is why you live and you learn and you check YouTube recipes for tutorials. She looks better instead of a hot mess express. Okay. Then we're gonna pop her in right now into the air fryer. There you go. Turning it on, 390, and then we will switch it later. Yeah. So now we're gonna go ahead and put the bok choy. We're gonna actually wash these and then actually make them charred. But I'm gonna be adding a little different twist. So I'm gonna actually be adding garlic as well as the chili onion crunch from Trader Joe's because it just needs a little bit more of that. Um, you know what I'm saying? That arg. Okay. So we're gonna make it charred. We're gonna be a little bit sautéed, but mostly charred. Let's go ahead and put it in now. She is working like a mean machine, everybody. 
I made my chain. And then we'll be right back with the final product. All right, I'll catch you guys in a bit. There we go. So hi. So this is going to be the miso salmon with the rice as well as the bok choy, which is going to be with garlic and chili onion crunch. And we're gonna go ahead and try it out right now. Let's first try the salmon. Cheers. Mmm. Shrimp sweetie, you be eating good. What the? The miso just hits, y'all. It hits along with the rice vinegar and the sugar. If I didn't have that, it would probably be not flavorful, but I also added the lemon pepper and also garlic salt, so it has a really good hit into it. Yum, the bok choy. Mmm. I mostly more I, I more sauteed it rather than charred it, but overall it has a smoky kick. It's really clean. It's not too like bad in calories. I think it's also a good fit for a really good healthy meal. And I would like to definitely take the time to probably marinate it a little bit more, but that's on my end. As for the bok choy, I wanted to be a little bit more flavorful when it comes to it, so I put the chili onion crunch as well as the garlic. I didn't really quite know how to char something, or else I felt like I would burn the house down. It was still good with the sauteed, and I made it a little bit overburnt. So, yeah. My leftover rice, just it's rice. What do you expect? All right. So now, um, I'll go ahead and give you guys my thoughts and reviews, and I'll catch you in a bit. Alrighty guys, so now we're back into our video for a recap. I must say eating like Miss Remy for an entire day has been such a fun experience. I must admit I actually did it into three different portions of three different days. One meal for breakfast that I tried, one meal for lunch as well as for dinner. I would like to add that my most favorite entire meal that she has done would probably have to be breakfast. Knowing me, I actually don't eat a lot during breakfast, so it was such a game changer eating cherry tomatoes and avocados, and I've never actually soft boiled an egg. Having that as a toast with the oat milk latte was definitely just a chef's kiss. Miss Rem, love you so much. You're my queen. I appreciate you for watching this. If you are, if not, then it's okay too. I will probably be doing more of these food challenges as well in the near future. That pretty much concludes the entire video for CGTV where I eat like Miss Remy Cruz for a day. Which one did you guys like the most? Or if you guys have any other suggestions for me to do next, comment down below. But this is Christian Jerry Polonio for CGTV. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys all soon. Bye everyone! <laughs>